Hi, my geekers. How are you doing out there? And geekettes, how are you doing out there? I hope you're all doing good. I'm Jay. I'm Lainey. Welcome you are in to Geek, geek by Heart. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know either. I was trying to be stupid, actually. Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing Aquaman. Dude, you can't swim. I just swim. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> but yes, Aquaman, Aquaman, Aquaman. Yeah, the Aquaman, movie you man. thought that was going to be Let's go, bad, DC. Let's go. But Get really, it was really good. Man, Aquaman was breath of fresh air after that bullshit Justice League. I'm gonna say breath of clean water after that bullshit Justice League. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Aquaman, it stars Jason Momoa as Aquaman and yes. Amber Heard as Mira, Patrick Wilson as Ocean Master and Nicole Kidman as Atlanta. Yes. Yeah. And of course the movie is directed by James Wan. Wan. This dude from He's Conjuring and Saw and, and Insidious. Insidious, he is he is he is good. He's he's awesome. He's and we awesome. now know that him and Patrick Wilson work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because yeah. that's like the fifth movie that Patrick Wilson has yeah. been in with James Wan. So <laughs> yeah, they connect. They they do well. <laughs> yeah, they connect. The movie is basically about Aquaman. Um, basically, he is you know putting up this challenge with his brother. You know to be king of Atlantis and of course you know during that they have to you know tussle and do all sort of crap before mm -hmm. you know, before Aquaman gains his status as king of the oceans mm -hmm. of the, the seven seas and ruler of all living creatures on the, on the ocean water master and all of that you know so you know you have to go through all lot of stuff mm -hmm. and um, you know as usual we're gonna be going through a good game back Let's get into it. Oh, you want to go first? I can go first. Huh? Want me to go first? Yeah, of course, this movie, as from a bad geek, of course, this movie is supposed just to sleep. And um, you know what? I, I preferred it not being mentioned in it. <laughs> you just. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I just. It, it just. Because I don't want to have no remembrance <laughs> of Justice League. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to even think about it. So I, I'd, I'd prefer if they had not mentioned anything about Justice League. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they mentioned um, um, the whole thing with, with Justice League. Aren't you a part of Justice League? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. Um, another of my uh, bad geek is that the fact that, you know, it's like with the movies, like he was already discovered and they already named him Aquaman. I, I didn't like that. I'd prefer if they had a movie where he was, he started from nothing and he started discovering certain things of his, of his own basically mm -hmm. and he developed himself into creating some sort of, um, some sort of popularity mm -hmm. that say okay this is him, this is the man of the seas and then eventually they, he, they will revert his name to Aquaman, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But, Having the movie just started and you know th th his name is just already developed, it just it just took it just took away from the whole excitement of it. Um, thirdly, I think Black Manta was wrongly used. I didn't like the fact that they used Black Manta for this movie. They should have used him for a sequel. Mm -hmm. I think they should have because totally. his story is basically a huge significance of Aquaman because. It, Black Man if you're a comic book um, if you're a comic book reader you would know that Black Manta is one of Aquaman's rival arch enemies. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, they, they do a lot of back and forth with, with their with their um, with their war between each other. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd prefer if he had a sequel by himself other than sharing a sequel with the with the Ocean Master. For me and and you know they didn't they didn't do it but what I'd, what I want, what I'd love if they even had mentioned one of the, or give even give a little screen time for one of the, the Justice League guys, one of the members of Justice League, 
you know, just nothing. It could be like a, a, a small fidget, like he probably bumped it to somebody, and you know, you would know by the fact that well, that dude is probably the Flash, or that you dude is probably Green Lantern or some shit. You know what I mean? You, I, you, I, you just wanted him to forget about Justice yeah, League. Yeah, I just, I just and want, now you're I, like, no, sprinkle a little Justice League in it. <laughs> the new Justice League, the, the new Justice League, because if you probably don't know, DC is my, DC is I love DC. Mm -hmm. You know, I love DC over Marvel. And for some reason, Marvel is kicking their ass, but you know. Okay, so for my good geek, the visual effects of the movie is fucking awesome. They yes. killed it knowing that yes. it's an underwater movie, and it did work. You know, the the, 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 the color, mm -hmm. the vibrance, the, the flow of the visual effects, everything just went so well, perfectly well. With the, the knowing that it's an underwater movie and it's, it's 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 flawless. The fight scenes were awesome. The fight scenes were wonderful. I love the fact that they gave Wonder um, Aquaman that that I keep on saying Wonder Man. You said Wonder Man. Yeah, Wonder Man. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but the the fight scenes were really they were. sharp. They were really good. Um, I love the fact that they give Aquaman that powerful hit. When you when you when you hit one, if you hit a dude, you can feel it. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? That's the power that because you want to have that 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 significance of how powerful these these um these half gods are. Mm. You know what I mean? So giving those powerful punches and you know all of that was that's what I want. One of the there was three parts of the movie that really got goosebumps to me. One of the one of the ones one of the, the, the parts was um, when he went to get the trident and he jumped out of the um, the, the waterfalls and it just in slow motion he was okay. like damn you know he just ah he just boom I was like oh and the second one was when he was underwater and he sent out the radar the wrong radar I'm not sure if you know if you ever watched um, like the old time. Um, the old time cartoons with, with, with super friends and whatever. Mm -hmm. And he would like mm -hmm. signal out to the fishes and you see the circles around. That alone I'm like, yo three is the, the fight when the movie was ending and he jumped out of the water. And I'm Aquaman. Oh, that was fast. That's done. I'm, that I was, was done. great. I was we done. Both were like, I was done. That. I was you done. Both were yeah, for that. I was done. Yeah. The lastly my good my, my good geek uh, the creature designs were awesome. Yeah. The creatures, Agreed. yeah, how they designed the They're creatures and all that was was awesome, and uh, it was well done. Thank you guys. Thank you. Back to you. That's me. That's you. I got the mic. You got the mic. All right, and I'm about to drop the mic. Let's go. There are going to be a couple things that I'm gonna talk about that you didn't because I think you got a lot of stuff that I would have talked about. Mm. So there are some other things that I liked. For Good Geek, um, I actually appreciated that they didn't do a straight origin story. Um, I think that it's been done a thousand times, whether you're DC, Marvel, whatever. Like the fact that it just like, you know what, you knew this character, here's a little bit of his background, but you know this character and we're really going to focus on who this character is now and going forward and not talking about who he was and how he became. So I, 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 I did appreciate that. So I appreciate the tone of this movie. This movie was fun. Yeah. This movie was fun. It was not bogged down yeah. by the inconsistencies of like Justice yeah. League of it being fun and being serious. Tone, like the Justice the League. dark tone of yeah. um, Batman vs Superman. The dark tone of um, Man of Steel. This movie was so much fun, and they knew it. They went for it, and they were like over the top at sometimes. But it was all in the name of fun, and it brought you along with it. So you talk about how beautiful this movie looked. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about the fact that the CGI was awesome. Okay, like the C. First of all, remember that the CGI in Justice League was horrible. Yeah. Okay. It was, it um, was but then you went to Aquaman, and the CGI was spot Perfect. on, except for one thing, which I'm gonna talk about my baggy. But for the most part, the CGI was just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So you talked about like how you liked the fighting. I, I think for me, the technical reason why I like the fighting, because you could see it all. Mm. They had. They usually do like close shot scenes, so like you really can't see everything like that's Venom. going on. Yeah. But you can see like almost a 
360 of what is going on the, the and a lot of times yes and a lot of times in a fighting so. scene yeah. so it made you immerse in that situation and you you got caught up in it you were like oh Talk, yeah. talk, no, you know, like, and there was a lot of moments that you want to be like, yo, talk, talk, or do whatever, and like, especially when they're running, like, if you if you think about a wide scene, right? Remember when they're running on the roof because that's a part of the trailer. Yeah, yeah. That's a wide shot, like you can yeah, see everything, everything that's right. and that's how they did it in most of the fight scenes yeah. too. So like, I like the fight scenes not only yeah. because I like the fight scenes and how he was fighting, but, but like the fact that the camera work was so great about it. So my baggie, not a lot actually. Cause like I said, this is a very solid movie. Mm -hmm. um, what I would have liked better was actually almost the same thing you said. Black, and I always can't say mantra, it's Manta. Black Manta. Thank you. Black <laughs> Manta, just like Wonder Woman, Wonder Man. Black Manta, I was telling, I was calling him Black Manta all night. He's like, Manta, Manta. Um, Black Manta, it it wasn't a throwaway, it made sense, but again, because he's such a big arch nemesis of mm, Aquaman, yeah. it, it did seem like a throwaway character. Mm -hmm. And such a well-developed, um, as far as that suit, because that suit was freaking amazing. Yeah. So the one part about that CGI that I did not like was Nicole Kidman. Oh. Nicole Kidman young versus Willem Dafoe young. Nicole Kidman's young face was it, it didn't work. Flawless. It, it didn't work. <laughs> but like when you saw a close-up of Willem Dafoe and those flashbacks, I was like, no, that did work. So I was wondering if it was because of Nicole Kidman or because of CGI, like what was going on in that. But um, that for me did not work. So why I didn't understand, and maybe you can tell me this or whatever, is how Black Manta actually came to dislike Aquaman. Not because of what happened with him and his father. Mm -hmm. like. One of the opening lines that they had in between the two of them was like, I'm looking for you. And he just starts fighting and I'm like, but why? Because it seemed as if that yeah, sub issues back in the past. Right. But then that's not explored. That's never even mentioned as to why that there's a reason because of those two having an issue. Because like I felt like his job, Black Manda's job was to actually just attack Atlantis, be one of the submarines to attack Atlantis. So I, I, I didn't understand that. And I, I didn't feel like they even remotely resolved that or even touch on it, like I said, so. Well, you know, as you uh, depart from your bad gig, I'm still, I'm gonna touch on that, that topic that you had. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've, I had it on my, my, uh, my, my bad gig that I didn't like the fact that when the movie started, he, Aquaman was already developed. Because I know that from the time that Aquaman developed to the time that they 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 count the the Black Manta and his father and Aquaman got confronted under the submarine, mm -hmm. there was some issues between that mm -hmm. time that time frame. Mm -hmm. So just for you to just for you to to um, meet in a in a in a situation where you have Black Manta and his father and Aquaman and they were like you know tussling and whatever you you're trying to, to wonder to yourself. Why are they in such beef? What mm -hmm. was going on? And that was that was that was one of the reasons why I said I wanted it, wanted the movie to be of sort of like a origin movie, but not too much of, of an origin, mm -hmm. because it was already mentioned, you know, within the start of the movie. But give some give some some um, some stories or parts of the movie where it mentions it, it has Aquaman without him being popular. You know, with him knowing that, well, okay, I can swim. I can hold my breath for a certain amount of hours. You know, how the hell am I seeing um, underwater so clearly? You know, who's this guy who's gonna train me or to fight and all mm -hmm. of that? You know, I'd wanna see that. That, like I said, the latter part, mm -hmm. I definitely agree about. The former part, I, I was okay that it wasn't a straight origin movie. You know, and so. you know, a part of the movie, what I, I basically wanted to talk about is what is going to be the direction of DC after this? Okay. Because I know that, because of course DC is like, um, I mean Aquaman is, it's big in the box office right now. Yes it, it is. It earned yeah. like, how much? It earned like, I think, 80 mil? No. I, I forgot how much. Let's cut that, let's ask it, because I know it's a lot more than that. So for some reason, I, I think 
you know, Aquaman is is actually you know making rounds in the cinema in the cinemas and at the box office. Yeah, they told us it's projected to to go for a billion. To go for a billion. And months. that's unheard of for DC right now. Yeah, so that's exactly. what's up. So what is going to be the next move for? I know that there's going to be the Joker. There's going to be the the other um, Wonder Woman. Shazam. Movie. It's going to be Shazam. Mm-hmm. So what is it? Is is DC planning on going back to the the Justice League department? You know, right now, I think that they should just do standalones. Yeah. Because be right good. now, their standalones are so much better than their buddy cop movies mm-hmm. right now. Like, Wonder Woman, okay, and Aquaman, easily, of uh, the modern DCEU, easily the top two. Easily. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Shazam, I don't know how it's going to look, but if it mm-hmm. if it feels it feels like it's going the Aquaman route of being, in t- as, as far as tone is concerned, and I'm okay with that, let's just see. You know, we will see. Um, but right now, I feel like they should just really make a lot of standalones and then tie it in later, maybe. More geeks or more people who are a fan of the DC um, DC universe. I'm more embracing to see the whole Justice League. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Justice definitely, League. I want to see a new Justice League. Yeah, well, yeah. Batman and, and the, what, Ben Affleck and um, Henry C- C- Cavill. 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 Okay, they're not. Their their futures are unknown right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, as far as that, and I think it's a good thing, be, especially with Ben Affleck, because mm-hmm. I think they they had a way too old a character, I mean actor, to play Batman, mm-hmm. because you miss a lot of the good stories that you actually could tell with him mm-hmm. as a standalone character rather than a forty-something year old Batman. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna tell? All right. So um. Well, I'm going to. What do you? How do you rate Aquaman? Oh, what's your rating? Four point five. Four point five. It was a great movie. Okay. Okay. I mean, for me, I'm I'm definitely gonna give it a four point seven out of five. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna some. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty dope. But, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Not a perfect movie, but a pretty good movie. Yeah. Definitely. Exactly. Um, Aquaman was good. Yep. Okay. Go watch it, guys. Go um, watch it. Definitely yeah. go see it. You yeah. will not be disappointed, especially if you want something that is not Man of Steel, that is not Batman vs. Superman, that is not Justice yeah. League. Go see it. Yeah. You will have a lot of fun. You will love it, ladies. You. Yeah, and of course, uh, we're going to be we're going to be having a, a movie review for 2018. 18. Good and bad. Um, yeah, well, the five top, the top, the five worst and the five best. Yeah, that we saw. Geek movies. That we of, saw. Yeah, we got geek movies of, of 2018. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be doing a review. I uh, can't wait to have it. talk to chop it up. I can't wait. I can't wait. But you know, as usual, you can visit us um, on Instagram mm-hmm. and Twitter. Geek by Heart. Geek by Heart. We're here with Jay and we can subscribe to us as you can and we will be back for more of the geekdom we're coming back for more of the geekdom